he plays bishop to f5 there is likely chances that you may get the winning position very immediately but you have to know the right moves hey guys welcome to systematic chess club and we are once again back with another trap uh, this september we are doing all the slap related to queen's gambit and so now let us go to the trap d4 d5 c4 and c6 so this is called slav defense now you go for knight f3 this is called bogo and we are doing bogo trap right now so he goes for knight f6 so this is the variation now you go for e3 and he plays bishop to f5 the moment he plays bishop to f5 there is likely chances that you may get a winning position very immediately but you have to know the right moves how to make it so first we recommend you to go for the exchange variation you capture and he captures it back and now you go to the knight to c3 and he plays e6 opening the diagonal but now this bishop is a bit not in a good position and what can you do you immediately go for knight e5 now he comes knight with e7 and here there are, you have to immediately attack this bishop by g4 g4 is the idea here that you have to play so you play g4 and this is how you are going to look if he captures you capture it back he captures and then you capture so you are going to win two pieces he cannot do it so what are the possibilities one possibility is he may come over here if he comes here you immediately attack him by the bishop f3 the other way if he captures you you capture it by the d and that is also quite relatively good position for you and now if he captures this pawn what you are going to do is you first immediately put the check queen a4 check and then he, the queen d7 comes into the picture that is uh, one way in which he can defend so he goes for queen d7 now you can attack it directly and you have won the queen so this is the idea and if uh, you the other way if he don't uh, go for uh, interruption interruption with the queen and he removes the check say you have given the check he, now he don't go for this he goes for queen so at this stage you capture you go for a check and you are attacking it twice he moves back you capture it it's a check then he comes in between and then you go for a check trying to get him downside he cannot come up he may come up here you have to capture it if he goes down you capture the rook so this is the idea that can help you in winning the slav defense now let us see if at the move number nine when uh, you captured it and now bishop captures the pawn attacking your queen so at this stage you immediately go for the check with the bishop and then queen comes up or knight comes in between if knight comes in between you capture the bishop and then uh, other way if he moves up then immediately you can capture uh, the knight and that is the move if he captures the pawn you capture the bishop in this way you can get the winning position and what alternatives if uh, he does not come back and he goes back then you immediately play h4 looking to attack the bishop trap him and he plays h6 to make some space now you capture the bishop here it is very important to don't allow him to go backward now f captures and now you put the bishop on d3 king comes to f7 queen c2 knight captures g4 and now you capture with a check he goes back now you have a very strong he captures it and now you are looking for capturing this central pawn and also looking to give a checkmate from here so these are the ideas that may help you if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe systematic chess channel my 85 percent of the viewers are not subscribed if you subscribe it, it is going to help me and bring you the good work on chess we are dedicated to spread chess throughout the globe uh, the techniques that can help you thank you so much take care bye bye